fishing flies or fly fishing flies or flies for fishing or whatever you want to call them. Do we really need so many patterns? Yes, I know the saying that you can never have too many flies. But is it true? There must be more different patterns of flies than there are fly anglers, with more coming every year. Granted, a lot of them are old patterns modernised with synthetic materials. When you think back from a book called A Trist of Fishing with an Angle by Dame Juliana Burns and going on with Cotton and that other bloke who wrote a book which every angler knows but few have actually read right through to the likes of Holford, Skews and Sawyer with his pheasant tail nymph plus a bit more modern like Dr Bell with his famous amber nymph and the grenadier Goddard with his caddis pattern and others Arthur Cove with his nymph pattern Barry Wellen with his nymph Sid Knight and his dog nobbler Bob Church with his black chenille and the appetizer to name a few and they are just the British ones never mind the American and the other countries, there must be thousands and thousands of fly patterns. Looking through my collection of books, yes, for the younger generation, those things with writing and pictures in it, with no buttons to press or screens to run your fingers across, I found a few of my fly pattern books, like Taft Taf Price's Tying and Fishing the Nymph and Tying and Fishing the Sedge. Still water flies and how and when to fish them and trout flies of still water by John Goddard. Bob Church's fly books. A signed copy of Robson's Guide to Still Water Trout Flies. And the very first fly fishing book I bought, John Vinard's Reservoir and Lake Flies. I think you can guess the theme. I even have a book called The World's Best Trout Flies by John Roberts with flies from people like Al Betty Beatty from the USA, Theo Blakelar from Holland and Roman Moser from Austria. I will have to do a full list of my fly books one day and put them on my Facebook page. Anyway, getting back to the original question. Do we need so many patterns? Do the fish know the difference that the Montana nymph you are fishing in the UK is from the USA? Or the pheasant tail nymph you are fishing in Poland is from the UK? Is every pattern in the world different from each other or a variation of a theme? Do fly patterns catch more anglers and fish? And will fly invent inventors ever run out of names to call their creations? All these questions. Do you know the answers? Please let me know. I still blame the blooming Macedonians for starting it all. <laughs>